Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing readings for Pisces. Ooh, I took out the very purple pentacle, uh, or some people would call it the pentagram. Uh, <laughs> um, table cover. It's a pentacle, okay? It's a pentacle. So, <laughs> it's very witchy looking. I love the different colors. It's one that I purchased a while ago. I don't even remember when, where. Oh, but it's gorgeous. I'll try to find it, Pisces, you know, if you want it. I don't know if it's even there, but if I do, I'll post it somewhere. For you. I'll give it a shot. So, this morning I did a healing. It was very close to my heart. I, I was feeling the energy so much so that I didn't do any other readings the entire day. Um, it's later in the evening. It's almost 7 o'clock, my time. Um, probably many weeks before you're going to see this. <laughs> and um, I decided to do just, just to go in my heart space with you. That's why I changed this, even though we're not officially in Pisces season yet. We have another week. I figured I would change it up and just get us ready for Pisces season that is coming in. So this is the last week before Pisces season. I think it's the 12th to the 18th. Um, and then after that, we are officially um, in our zone. And that's great. Okay, so here we go, my beautiful ones. Let's see what's coming in. The Page of Wands. The Hermit. Okay, and that fell down. And a chariot, yeah. Um, okay, so what do I see with this Pisces? Well, I see something new. I see, first of all, fire being brought within. Like, the Page of Wands is fire, right? Energy, that beautiful energy and then bringing it within and really looking shining it's almost like guiding you towards something more meaningful deeper a lot of wisdom because you plan to carry it somewhere with the chariot I feel that the chariot is really saying you're going to be carrying this energy with you you're going to be going somewhere different with it absolutely Let's take a look. Let's pull let's pull the cards for the week. How do I do this? I want to I want to put them a little bit on the side here so we have room to pull the Celtic cross. Now, I usually have an idea of what the decks I want. I usually pull a few out. I do have a few out. Um I feel like I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to start with the Tarot of Oneness. I'm actually, I think I'm going to take all my, my favorite decks out this week, at least I wrote. I have a lot of favorite decks, but I think I'm going to take my happy decks out. I, I feel that it's time, I don't know. Um, I feel it's time to be gentle with yourself, okay? So what's going to be the theme for the week, Pisces? What are you going to be looking at? Let's see. Let's put the right side up. Oh, the Six of Pentacles. You know, the Six of Pentacles is the card of personal balance for me. But not only that, this card in particular, when I look at it, you see the green glowing from there? It's going back into the heart space. And I think it's about filling your cup. Filling your cup back up. Okay? This morning I felt like a, a, a great big weight when I did the healing. I, I, I have to tell you, it took me a while to shake it. Um, I walked around feeling um, in doubt. I remember this feeling from when I started... Um, 
don't worry, I know I, I told you guys that I, I was talking about my YouTube channel, but I have other avenues, you know, like, I know how to diversify, I know how to take care of myself, um, I know how to look at different things, there's, there's not a problem there, and I love the people that I have here. However, I had a YouTube channel before, which, where I wanted to help people save money, get out of debt, all of that stuff. And it just wasn't going nowhere. It was terrible. And I, I do still believe that that channel was just um, defunct. And I should have just closed it and and just started a new one. And But I didn't. I was trying to fix something that was broken, um, not repairable. And I felt like that very much like I did this morning. I felt like I was... I was constantly doubting myself, constantly um, mindfully putting myself in a corner uh, and and creating such huge walls that there was no way out for me. No way out, ever. It was very sad and I suffered alone. And I think this morning's um, reading was about that. Um, I immediately called somebody that I cared about to which um, we were, you know, I, I talked about, you know, this channel, how, you know, it's, YouTube should never be your end goal, I think, you know, you should always, like, you know, diversify and do different things, and we were doing a little powwow between the two of us, and came up with a few ideas, and she was very uplifting, and I, I, I actually told her, I did a hard reading, I need a little bit of, you know, uplifting, and, you know, just have a conversation and talk about different things, and, and we did. So, it's not about suffering anymore, okay? This is about receiving, okay? Sometimes I feel that this morning was all about not just that, that feeling of, of doubt and feeling like you're not getting anywhere. It's also of always giving, giving, and never asking for anything. Afraid that you're going to put somebody out, or it's just even admitting... Um, weakness or failure, and it really isn't, okay? You can ask your guides if you don't want to ask somebody, but please try to unburden yourself, lighten your load, and receive. And call it in from the heart center, right here. Okay, call it in from the heart center. Could you please give me something? In this case, it's like receiving funds, but it doesn't even need that. Sometimes it's just support. It's just a different idea. I even spoke about the conversation to my husband, and he had a few ideas. So, it's not that I needed a ton of ideas, but it's nice to bounce things off and have, you know, things come back that you can write about and think about and have a different idea on. So, this week is going to be about letting yourself receive, okay? So, the Page of Wands is also about new ideas, new bright ideas, um, impulsive new ideas, new situations. So if you let yourself receive, you're going to be able to maybe get something that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. Because sometimes when we're stuck in a loop, or hurting about something, we just keep going around and around with ourselves. Okay, so I'm not going to go too much in that, although I think I already have way too much. Let me find the other deck, Okay, the other deck that's calling to me right away. Okay, so we have this one. I'm going to use all my pretty decks, all my pretty decks this week. And the location tarot, which I haven't used a lot. And I'm, I I'm unfortunately don't have a place for you to get this one. It is, um, it is a deck that I funded on Kickstarter. So it's the location tarot. It actually doesn't have any pictures of people. It's just the landscape, which I love. So let's see. I'm going to use this one as the block because I want to see what's not seen. Okay? What you may even be hiding from yourself, what's blocking you. It's a perfect deck to use for this. And I haven't used it nearly enough. Alright. 
Okay, so I know instinctively what this is. This is the three. This is the three of pentacles. It's right there. And not only that, the reason I know that it's the three of pentacles is because... Um, well, there's, there's no because. The three of pentacles here is the block is receiving from your guides, receiving from your allies, receiving from people who would be there to help you. Okay? The three of pentacles is about teamwork and assistance. So what's blocking you? Yeah. You not asking. You not seeking these people out. You thinking that there's nobody there for you. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, and I also have the Six of Cups, and this is the location. How do I know? It's because if, if you turn the card a little bit, you can actually see, I think you can see it right there in the design, okay? So you have the Six of Cups here, and if you look at this, it's about childhood. And this does look like somebody's backyard, where somebody would play, and... I, th I feel like a sense of hiding, right? It's not in the world. It's in the shadows here. Um, it's in the shadows of childhood. Maybe you, as a child, had a lot of things that you had to go through life alone. It's something that's kind of um, within you. It's something that was just part of who you are, right? Um, I know for myself that was a big part. I, there was enough burdens, I never wanted to be one. And you may feel like that as well. Maybe you never wanted to be a burden, Pisces. So, you never asked for help. That's your block, okay? So it's time to receive. They're telling you. This is another healing thing for, from childhood. This is how you healed your, heal yourself, okay? This blackness, look, this darkness in the location tarot here. You see, there's nobody there. There's nobody there. It's all hidden from view. So, absolutely. Alright, so we're going to put this deck over here. That's going to be one of our decks. This is going to be another one of our decks. And I'm going to take... Okay, I'm going to take the... Uh, the Psychic Tarot. Because it matches the tablecloth. <laughs> Let's take a look at your ground and your crown for the week. That should be interesting. Okay. So your ground. Passion ignited. Yeah. You know, I would I would say that it's closely resembling, um, I know it's going to sound weird, but sexual energy. And the reason I say that is that when you're attracted to something, um, or someone, I should say not something, um, when you're attracted to someone, there's all kinds of little fireworks display that happen within you, right? So your ground right now has been very much in the fireworks type of deal. This is the Ace of Wands. And this is new. That's new and exciting, just like the page, right? Impulsive, new ideas. And that feels very fearless. It feels very new and exciting. And um, not only that, I love the fact that, look, again, look at this. Look at this. Look, are you, are you getting what's going on here? Okay. You're ready to receive. You're ready to receive at the very core of you. So that's, these are like the base chakra. Base, sacral, and powerhouse. Okay? This is the heart of you, but those are the, the three uh, bottom chakras. And I feel like the top part especially is going to be your crown. Or well, part of the crown anyway. So that would be your throat chakra your voice, your crown, your third eye. Not in that order. <laughs> Alright, 
So what's at the top part of you? What are, what are you focusing on? The who? <laughs> well, talking of, right? So, positive movement forward. This is the Eight of Wands. So these two came in for you at your crown. That's exactly what you're thinking of. I want to move forward. I want to move past this. Hmm. We're going to explore that more later. I don't want to go too much into it. I've already gone a lot into this one, so I don't want to go too far into that one, but we will explore it. So please come back, okay? Come back to see that. All right, so I'm going to use the Spacious Tarot. The deck that made me cry when I first did a flip, saw a flip through. Oh my God. I had never bought a deck so quickly. It resonated with me so much, yet I don't use it as much as I'd like to. I, I really don't understand why. Maybe in the future, in time. Alright, so the before and after Pisces, let's see the before and after. Five of Pentacles, okay. So again, we're focusing on the alone, the past, the alienation. I'm telling you this week we're dealing with a lot of insight. I see the hermit going in to, to heal something that needed that needs to be healed. And this is the fact that you think you have to do it alone, that you can't get support, that you can't say, help me, I'm struggling, help me, my energy feels low, help me, I need a, I actually said to my friend, I need a picker-upper, are you a picker-upper today? <laughs> uh -huh. And she says, that's me, I'm a picker-upper. What's coming after? The High Priestess. You are going to tap in to your intuition. You're definitely going to call in help from the angels and the guides. Um, I would suggest for you a lot of intuitive writing, channel writing, meditation, um, spirit guide, whatever makes you calm or get out of the, um, the mindset of, of feeling um, restricted or doubtful or or weak or failed I, I would definitely in I, I want you to be inspired to try and find peace and um, really tap in to what you need to find to receive okay this is all about receiving in the heart space receive Tap into your heart chakra. Tap into your crown chakra. They're going to be really important this week. It's a soft week. It's a soft week. And I definitely want you to be kind to yourself this week. Be kind to yourself this week. All right. So... Definitely want some Oracle of, I think the Seven Energies Oracle. Yeah, I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling me some, <laughs> um, here we go, setting the whole place on fire. There we go, Jane. Too many decks. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there you go. I have wax there, perfect. So, I'm just gonna put it on top. I will take care of that after. <laughs> what was this card? The two, the 
two of pentacles. How is that the two of pentacles when there's three? Oh, the pentacles are in between and there's the juggler with three. Interesting. Alright. Alright, let's try that again. How others see you. Don't let yourself get upset this week over, over things, okay? Okay, so some will see you as much as a child wishing upon a star. I, I really like that. And again, what is she doing? She's holding her, you see uh, a star, but you see a little bit of that green in there, don't you? Um, do you see a similarity here? Right? Um, I, I'm feeling like you are going to definitely go into your High Priestess. I, I do feel like you're going to go inside and say, all right, I'm ready. You have Angelic here because you have an 1139. So I really feel that you're going into your Angelic um, realm of asking your angels, your guides for help. I also feel the hope of the star, right? wishing upon a star, the hope of the star. Um, yeah, you're really going to work on yourself this week when it comes to that. I feel the hermit as well. It's coming in. It's very in, inside work. Inside work. Oh. And then you have seven, a deep breath. How you're seeing yourself. As in very, very zen-like. I feel that this is you and the energy, okay? There's nothing much around you. There's an opening flower. There's a star in the flower. Wishing upon a star, right? She has, She's holding a star. I feel very much that you are going to go within yourself. You're going to, to be looking at this. Yeah. All right. Pisces. Next. Map. The Oracle, I used it this morning, the Enchanted Map. I like anything that has map on it. It's usually mean that it's going to guide you somewhere, which is where we need to be going. We need to be guided somewhere, absolutely. So your hopes and fears. Your hopes and fears for the sweet princess. Huh. Okay, so cleaning house and spirit of place. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel that is your hopes and fears. I, I Spirit of place for me is always being in the now. Spirit of place is like being right here, right now. Don't think too much about um, stuff. Keep yourself busy doing things that bring you um, happiness. Things that you can take care of right now. Not worrying about things that you can't. If that's taking a course to help you with your fears, if that's um, even just bettering self-improvement, self-help, um, whatever topic that you feel that you need to work on and that you don't have answers for, if you can find a place, a course, guidance somewhere to get help, this is what you can do right now. So always bring yourself in the right now. And also with the four, I feel like it's saying, um, be happy with your accomplishments of today. All your little wins, make sure that you are happy. This is 10. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is saying that it's going to bring you into your new way. It's going to give you the movement that you need just by clearing out your space, your brain, um, actual housework will do it too. Clutter cleaning. Um, yeah. All of that will be of a great help to you going forward. 
Plus, it's a great way of being quiet, honestly, to go through things, to be quiet within and pay attention to what you're doing in the in the moment. You can't honestly, you can't declutter with and, and be thinking of like, how do I fix this? How do I do that? You have to pay attention to what you're doing. You're looking at a thing, you're going, do I keep this? Do I put it away? Do I, you know, donate it? Um, it's a great stress buster because it keeps you in very present moment. So yeah, you know, if you need to, cleaning is the thing. Okay, so you end the week with wishing well. And I feel very much that she's walking away from that wishing well, but she has put something in it. Okay? I think that you're going to release the stuff that you need to by the end of the week. You're going to throw the coin or whatever you're throwing in the wishing well. In other words, you're going to throw your wishes up to the universe, and you're going to let things take their... Um, take their natural course, okay? And this is going to free you with the chariot by the end of the week to help you move ahead without um, that restriction. It's letting go so that you can get on your horse and ride. You can get on your chariot and go and resume the movement. So this week is going to be, again, introspective, but I think it's about receiving. I'm, I'm positive it's about receiving. That's what I feel when I look at this. And look, it's about receiving the help, receiving that beautiful energy of spirit, of a friend, of somebody, of reaching out, okay? It's reaching out, not in vulnerability, but of, um, I need help, and I know it's not wrong to need help. It's not wrong to say, look, um, sometimes I feel like this is too much for one person. Maybe you've never ever thought of it that way. Maybe you've never been allowed to think that way. Maybe you've never allowed yourself to think that way. But you need to now. You need to let it in. Take it in. And um, I really think that's going to open you up even more than you know. There's a reason it's happening now. It's because you want to move forward. You have the chariot. You need to move forward. I think your need is bigger than your fear of asking for guidance and help. So there we go, Pisces. I hope that you can join me this week. No doubt, it will be very insightful, usually is. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate if you would. I'd appreciate you hitting that like button leaving a comment. I know I keep repeating that, but it really does matter. And um, these are the times of scrolling TikToks, Instagrams, and um, Facebook shorts. And um, everybody's doing it. And uh, I fear that long-form videos are mm, losing a little bit of steam. And I want to bring you back and I won't bring anybody who comes in here back to a state of a slower pace of digesting things not just consuming and that makes it an unpopular thing right now I do know that but I'm still really committed to it and if you are too I'd appreciate your help this is me reaching out to you I appreciate you and I thank you for all you do. And if you're somebody who's been returning forever, thank you so much. Love, light, and blessings. I will see you tomorrow for the first card of the week, which is the Six of Pentacles. And we're going to study that beautiful energy. Take care. Bye for now.